We continue learning Hachseg Musar Yoimi Rabbeinu Yoina and Perki I apologize for the lateness of yesterday. Shear Baruch Hashem will be back up to date. And we pick it up, day number seven, which is we're middle of the sixth Mishnah. The Mishnah taught by Yeshua ben Parachi Anitan Arbeli. Yesterday we dealt with Asilach Harav, Kenelach Chaver, the incredible and critical importance of a Rebbe, of maybe even making a friend a Rebbe if you have nothing else. Purchasing a friend, how you need that sense. Soundboard. Don't let the friendship unravel. But finally, today we pick it up from the end of this Mishnah. Vevi done. It's called Adam Lekavschos. You have to judge every person favorably. Says Rabbeinu Yehuda Zem Medaber Adam Shein Yehudim Bai Imutzadikim Rasha. What does it mean to judge every person favorably? If you're not sure, is this person a tzaddik or a rasha? Ayi Makir Na Yisai Shuish Beinuni or you know that he's a middle get middle level. Pavim Maisa Ra. Pavim Maisa Taiv. So because sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad, therefore you have to judge him favorably. And then he does something that you're not sure. Was it the right thing or the wrong thing? Or maybe it's something that when you see it, it looks like it's detrimental. If you're able to touch it up, to explain it, then no, it really was a good thing. That's what you have to say. Aval, that if you have a person that's 50-50. And the truth is, that first paragraph really deals with the general populace, the general masses. We don't know. They do good things. They make mistakes. You know, all of us. We try to be good Jews. We make mistakes. So we're flawed somewhere in the middle. So now if you see someone and you're not sure what he's doing, you got to try to find a way to explain that it could have been done. It could have been appropriate. But let's see if it's Tzadik Gomer or Rashi Gomer. Ki a Tzadik, if you don't Ra. Let's listen to those words again. A Tzadik. We'll call it the Rav, the Rosh Hashiva, the Rebbe. Even if the action appears, of course. Kuloi Ra. Chuva Mikol Ever. And it's completely leaning towards the negative side. You still have an obligation to judge him favorably. Lamar, and how do you judge such a thing favorably? It was a mistake. Become aware of it. He knew about it, and he right away didn't ask Hashem for repentance. Don't think anything bad of him, because by the next day you assume he did tshuva. Shema salkadai, the only maybe did tshuva. Says the Gemara Brachos, Eleiba vaday al said tshuva. Even sure did tshuva. Pirush, what is the question of the Gemara of Shema salkadai to mean? He's a Talmud Chacham, and he never made this mistake. Still, we have to assume that right away he did Shuva. You are never able to judge a Tzadik unfavorably. The Mishnah did not have to teach us that. The Rav, the Rebbe, the Rosh Hashiva, the Tzaddik, whatever he is doing, how terrible of a crime it appears. Number one, you have to explain it. Number two, maybe he asked for it, maybe he did tshuva. And similarly on the flip side, even if you see a Rosh doing something that seems great, maybe it sounds like it looks like it's amazing. You still should judge it negatively and say, It must be it was an internal action. He didn't have the utmost intent. Because you never know what's in his heart. We know that all, the right way to do an action is that our insides are like our outsides. It doesn't just look good. We actually feel it inside. So if you see a Russia doing something, you're supposed to say, nah, inside he probably has ulterior motives. And with this we conclude that Shlomo HaMelech said with his wisdom, a righteous person is wise to the house of the evildoer, Misalif Rosh which corrupts the wicked toward evil. People think Sadiqim don't know what it means to do anything wrong. Therefore, they don't understand Rishayim. They don't understand people that do it. 
Which, by the way, parenthetically, this is a line that many people say. Yeah, the Rav, the Tzadik, he doesn't understand us simple people. He doesn't know what we're going through. Ein adover kein, says Shleim HaMelech, the wisest of all men. Ki ad Tzadik, maskal of his Rosh, of Yodeo, makar of Shkich, Rameh, Elohim, he understands the Rosh completely. Yoyser Mishnah Bnei Adam, he understands Rosh even more than other people. Shein HaMacham, the Dover, who aren't so wise. V'lein Yoyser Malibam, Misal Vershayim Lera, that what? When he sees the action, looks good. He pushes it to the negative. It must be he just try to look good, but internally he doesn't really feel it. Critically important. Judging everyone favorably. The tzaddik, there can't even be a thought in our mind not to. And the Russia, we have to worry. What's he really thinking internally? And of course, to realize our tzaddikim understand us very, very well.